Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about uh, age gaps in dating or marrying. Now, this conversation, of course, comes out of Jess with the Mess when we were talking about uh, Drake and Lotto's sister Brooklyn mm-hmm. and also Drea and uh, Jalen Brown. What's Jalen's last name? Just say Jalen. Jalen from the Houston Jaylen Rockets. Jalen Green, I think. Jalen Green, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, of course, she's pregnant. She's 39, and the young man just turned 22. Yes. So if you're just joining us, we're asking, what are your thoughts of older people dating someone with a, such a big age gap? We'll start with you, Jess. What's your thoughts? Um, I don't really know. Like, I just feel like, what is the level of like? And it depends. Like, okay, so with Drake, Shorty is twenty one. Mm-hmm. He's thirty seven. What is the conversations like? What are you know like? Can y'all? Ah, does she? Is she? Does she constantly? Can y'all go on a date without her having her phone in her hand the whole time? Like, is that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I I don't know. Like, I my my little sister. 21, mm-hmm. 20, 21. You get what I'm saying? So, like, if she bring a 39-year-old nigga home or a 39-year-old girl home, you know, because she gay right now, I just, I don't, I don't know how that will look. But then again, you know, people grow up a little faster than they used to. I have no idea, but I just, I don't know. I, I look at it from two different angles, right? Mm-hmm. I, I look at it and I see some of these couples that are married and it seems like things are good with a 12-year gap or even, yeah. even some of these with a, a, a 20-year gap. But now I take it out of that and I'm saying my daughter, right? Yeah. My daughter is 22. Would mm-hmm. I want her to date a 39-year-old man? No. Right. Because a 39-year-old man experienced more life. Right. He knows more. And I would think he's wanted a, a younger woman because he wants to mold her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's what I would think. So I look at it in, in, in different aspects, you know? Yeah, it just depends. Like now, if a 60-year-old man marries a 48 year old woman or a 45 that's year old different. woman that's different y'all already is lived it? a lot of I think life so. absolutely you lived, a, you lived life it's you're, still you're a 20 year age gap though. it is but is the younger you are the younger it is to me it's just like uh, Charlotte, man, you, you 70 about... something you lived through segregation <laughs> so <laughs> you know, for real I mean, of course you you're remember gonna... when there was colored bathrooms and white only right. you 40 something you ain't experienced that but you said before that you, you love older women I do like older women so you would date older women if you weren't married or you, you know you would Probably, but See? you know, even when it comes to um these conversations we having now, if you thirty something and you meet someone when they twenty something, ain't nothing wrong with that. If you forty yeah. something and you meet a twenty something, nothing wrong with that. I see folks giving Drea and Drake smoke like they out here dating teenagers, teenagers mm-hmm. or something. And like he didn't bust in that thing. What? Yeah, he did that himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just saying, not what, but I'm just saying like she didn't like. Trap, she you know what I'm saying? Like, like he like, obviously like, loves her, like you know what I mean. So I don't know. We we can't talk really, about Dre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if Jalen didn't have an issue with it and he's actively dating her, okay. Like, it, it, same same thing. If Brooklyn is like, if, if they are alleged, if they are dating, um, if they're if she that's what she want, that's what she want. You know right. what I mean? Like, if if it's against the will, it's different. But my little sister definitely can't bring home no 39 year old. Nothing. I get it. But I just don't. I guess when I when I hear them say you call the people, oh Dre is a predator, or Drake's a predator. Like yeah. they're not breaking the law. Yeah, you know yeah. the the only thing I think about in situations like that is what do y'all talk about? Like what do yeah, you have in that's common? That's what I would like to know. Yeah, I need a woman to understand my references because some of my jokes may not hit the same. Okay, yeah. but I mean it, it all depends. Like like you said, like my daughter's twenty two years old. She knows all the music I listen to. Mm-hmm. She watches the TV shows I listen to. She mm-hmm. kind of she has an old soul. So depending yeah. on how old her parents are, she can have those conversations. You know what I mean? Right. And that's because you raised her right. Okay. Right. Well, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? It's Crystal. Hi, y'all. Hey, Crystal. Good morning. Hey, What's your thoughts? I just wanted to congratulate you on the baby. Hey. So bad. Thank you, girly. This is my second time ever. Very to talk to you guys. I love you all. Oh, thanks. Mm. Your phone is messed up. We can barely hear you, Mama. We heard the congratulations. We, you too, we don't know where you're going. I just got a new Apple phone, and my speaker is garbage. Uh, oh, okay. now we can hear you better. Go ahead, Mama. And I just want to say, as far as age gap, I guess it's all in your preference. But me personally, I knew this older man, and we were friends for a long time. And then he asked me out, and we went out, and I just couldn't get like the dad vibes out of my head like the age just really messed with me like I'm 41 he's probably like 60 something so we just were friends (laughs) okay you you said you're 41 yes and he's 60 something 
Yes. Right. So she couldn't get the dad vibes out of Dad vibes, head. right. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm. a wild and age gap. My age. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think if your Thank age you, your age gap can't be old enough to drink. <laughs> if the, if the age gap between you is twenty one, that's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it gotta be like within the decade the range. Now, yeah. We have Sheena on the line, and Sheena, you saying you and your husband is forty years apart? Yes, I'm thirty four. He's seventy four. Damn. What do you do for a living? Okay, why? I mean, not why, but you know, yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah. What do you do? Um, he's retired. Um, he worked on a plantation all his life. I'm sure. <laughs> I know. He came, He was in the 18. I know he was born in the 1800s. I know. Okay. <laughs> but they set him up. So he has land. He has cars. He's, he's set for life. So he's rich. Know that's right. He's he really rich. was dating a slave. And you, and you, when he got his freedom papers, y'all got married. Yeah. 40 acres in a mule. So he's rich. So, so, oh, how did y'all meet? Oh, I'm man. just curious how y'all met. Don't say on the plantation. Um, no, not on the plantation. I mean, honestly, we started out like he was my sugar daddy. I ain't gonna lie. Duh, that makes that's sense. Right. Sugar yeah. granddaddy. Okay. Daddy, and at first, when it's when he asked me for my hand in marriage, I was like, oh no, like no, nah, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. But after a while, I mean, he treated me good. He treated my kids good. He was the first man that I didn't have to do anything for. He wanted to do everything for me for nothing. Like I didn't have to. It's amazing. How much is he worth? I mean, I, I, and I won't say, but it's a lot. He's, he's up there. He's I know that's right, name. Mr. Claude. What was his? Uh, yeah, what was his? Yes. What, what was his name? Not his slave name. What was his? What the, <laughs> what's the name he took after emancipation? <laughs> he's stupid, yo. Lee. It's just Lee. Lee. It's no Lee. last name. Just Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Lee X. <laughs> she, she, the one that, cause she is, is he black, Sheena? His, his first name is only two letters, and then the last name is Lee. Ed, is, it, is he black? Lee. Yeah, black. Uh-huh. He, was black. he was a slave. Mm-hmm. Of course he was, he was black. All right. <laughs> well, have a good one. Have a good Thank day, man. They, please don't start off no conversations like that no more. He worked on the plantation all his <laughs> all life. His life. <laughs> right. Damn. When he finished, they set him up for life. <laughs> they set him up. Just oh look. my God. Oh my goodness. 800 585 1051 If you're just joining us, we're talking about the age gap in dating or marriage. All right. What are your thoughts of older people dating someone with such a big age gap? Let's discuss this the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Mm. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, this conversation comes out of Jess with the Mess when we were talking about Drake allegedly dating Lotto's sister, Brooklyn. She's 21. Drake is, what, 37? And also, um, Drea dating, uh, actually having a baby from the young man that plays on the Houston Rockets. He's tw- He just turned 22, and she's 39. And we're asking, what are your thoughts? And we have Kima. Did I say your name right, Kiki? Kima? It's Kima. <laughs> oh, Kia. Yeah. All right, they wrote Kima. What's that? I'm sorry, Kia. What's your thoughts, mama? No, you envy. It's Kima, K-I-M-A. Oh, I had it right. Kima. Kima. I'm sorry. What's your thoughts? Mm-hmm. So, first of all, I just want to say shout out A43. Uncle Charlotte, what's happening? Hey, low country, what's happening? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Well, really, I look at it this. I don't see it as being good or bad, Um, like the age gap. I think some people in those situations are basically space fillers. Like, Mm -hmm. they serve their purpose for that time. And then Mm -hmm. once it's done, it's done. Um, In hindsight, you know, that age gap, it could be something that has longevity because one person is mature than the other. Like, when you mentioned Jay-Z and Beyonce, I think that's kind of that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, Beyonce, she grew up, um, she was exposed to the industry at an early age. She grew up a little faster um than most other females her age so that relationship and the age gap works for them it's no different um like if you think about it now like you know you guys are taking your kids to school each morning dropping them off but it might be a little kid that has to catch seven eight buses to get to school Mm. that's exposed to a lot more that makes them have to grow up a lot faster so people their age they just don't vibe with you know what i mean yeah yeah okay well thank you mama Congratulations, Jess. I hear you in the background, girl. Thank you, boo. You're welcome. Peace, low country. Yes.
Hello, who's this? I like her. Um, yeah, oh, that's Lala. Now, Lala, it says here that you're dating a man 22 years older than you. Yeah, I'm 36. He's 57. It's your sugar Are, daddy. You okay? You no, okay? She said I'm 36. He 57. Yeah. <laughs> he aging you, girl. He 57. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, okay. How long y'all been together? No, he thinks he, he, think he young. He thinks he young. How long on y'all and been and together? Years, but we are on and off six years, but we all right now. We oh, all right man. now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that mean he yeah. made you. That mean he made your little toes curl last night. Hey. The way you said that. <laughs> Charlamagne, come on now. You see that? She said, <laughs> "Come on now. You're the only one I ain't made yet. Don't do that." <laughs> ah. Whoa. What I mean. Yeah. <laughs> right. got, yeah. See, that's why you can't date nobody. Young. No, I seen Jess when she came. She did her show. I seen her show. She was absolutely fabulous. I seen DJ Envy when I was in Louisiana for the Essence Festival one year. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, I'ma see you. Oh, okay. I don't know. Thank you, Lala. You just hang up on Lala like that, man. Hello, said, who's I this? Know what I'ma see you. <laughs> sure. Hey, Sharon, now it says you're dating, uh, you're 33 years old and you're dating a guy that's very young. How old is he? He's 19. Jesus Christ. How, how old are you? 33. I'm 33, Jess. How long y'all been dating? Oh, okay, so she's not breaking the law still, I don't think, right? No, uh, uh, Almost a year now, but he pursued me and it's happening to like everybody like that I know around my age, my generation. They've been pursued by this younger generation because we look younger. I keep... People keep telling me I look like 26, stuff like that. Well, uh, I get wh- that all the time. Where are you from? I'm from Buffalo, New York. Okay. What, mafia. What you do? Um, I'm a veteran, so I was just getting my disability, but now I just start working again. I do collections. Oh. So he's okay, 18. Okay. Where'd you meet him at? He's 19. Yeah. Oh, no, she, she met him at 18. Yeah, but he's 19 now. Okay, he's 19. Where'd yeah, you meet him? She met him at 18. Where you meet him at? School? Ha- no. <laughs> Hampton. Um, like my mom, she, I'm in Virginia now, and my mom was like, I was trying to find somebody, you know, to just smoke with because I just got out of a relationship mm. and I didn't know nobody here. And my mom's like, well, he's a nice person, smoke with him. I didn't want anybody who already tried to talk to me, so mm. I was kind of like blindsided because I was not talking to anybody who tried to holler at me, you know. Did you say smoke with? Yeah, smoke some weed with. with. She, so, so she out in so, Virginia. So, so and her mom, her mom wanted her to smoke with this young man. All right, look, let me ask you real quick. Mm-hmm. What did you ever see? Anything that she would probably did he ever give you signs like, oh no, he's too young? Like anything? Did he ever do anything to turn you off because of his age or what? Definitely now that we're talking, you know, it's a, it, we definitely got that that big gap. This is some, a lot of stuff that I talk about. He doesn't know, and vice versa. He be talking about with that girl. Sexy red. I don't care about her. I don't know about her, but apparently that's what's <laughs> not right now. Jesus. You know, but that oh, you know. Man. So we have that, and then a whole bunch of stuff he does is just like immature. But I get mm. that with people that's my age, they're immature too. So mm. I'm not holding that against them because he's 19. Because there's 33 year olds that's just as immature. Does okay. he go to Hampton University? Goes to the college? No, he's working. He's about to have to, you know, uh, be testing fire equipment, making a lot of money yeah. gone all week, but. He has to do that because it's embarrassing for me if he doesn't. Okay. Do you see yourself with him? Yeah, of course. I know that's Just right. All right, girl. Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy, I guess. Yeah, congratulations. All right, listen, if I was a young boy, I wouldn't want none of these nasty little young girls either. But 33 at yeah. 18 is is a little weird. It's 19. Why you keep doing that? Because they started dating well, at 18. 19 now. She, right. hey, they 19, started, 19. They started dating at 19. 18. 33 and 19 ain't, if I was 19 I probably want me an older woman too but does he look 19 Ugh. He's probably taller than her yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. and he probably one of them 19 year olds that don't want to deal with these young girls but and talk about sexy red every day he do talk about yeah. sexy red yeah, yeah. you right she want right. to talk about Jill Scott she don't want to talk about no sexy red <laughs> he might like that though he, she might be introducing him to a vibe yeah. that, that he not he didn't even really know he liked damn I come over here the candles lit you know what I'm saying you know it smells you like know. shea butter you know <laughs> an <what laughs> <I mean>? opportunity <laughs> she got me eating healthy drinking juices and stuff mm-hmm. you know okay what's the like story guys do what works for you do, do you boo? Do you yeah, long as it's legal. do what works for you, but do not break the law. Yeah, That's as long it. as it's legal. All right. Yeah, That's do, it. yeah do what All works. Right. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.